Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. The Quranly app. Subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging and fun. Download it today. Whilst going about minding my own business on Twitter, as you do, I came across a clip. It's an old clip of the ex-Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu. And this is what our elders have been trying to tell us. That these movies, these shows are not just movies and shows. Yeah, And we know from research as well that they do have an impact on our psyche, on how we think. Let's hear what Benjamin has said. Uh, obviously we like to see a regime change, at least I would, in Iran, just as I would like to see in Iraq. The question now is a practical question. What is the best place to proceed? It's not a question of whether Iraq's regime should be taken out, but when should it be taken out? It's not a question of whether you'd like to see a regime change in Iran, but how to achieve it. Iran has the, uh, something that Iraq doesn't have. Iran has, for example, 250,000 satellite dishes. It has uh, internet use. I once said to uh, uh, the, chair, the heads of the CIA when I was prime minister that if you want to uh, advance regime change in Iran, you don't have to go through the CIA cloak and dagger stuff. Uh, what you want to do is, uh, uh, is take very large, very strong transponders and just be Melrose Place and Beverly Hills 2050 and all that into, into Tehran and into Iran because that is subversive stuff. They watch it, the young kids watch it, the young people, they, they want to have the same nice clothes at the same houses and swimming pools and so on. As you guys can see, he says that if you are to incur regime change, just send a few of these movies and a few of these programs and it will do the job for us, for it will liberalize people. I mean, that was what he was referring to. Yeah, Iran and Iraq, they're religiously motivated. Therefore, send a few of these programs, you'll get them you know, to change their minds and become more liberal and become more westernized, more desires and materialism and fashion and the likes. And fashion is of course dictated by the West. And like I alluded to, there is research also to suggest that, and this was done on churchgoers, that if they started frequenting movies and the likes, their attendance at church decreased. Now when we look at the impact that these shows can have, they can influence regime change, they can change the government, they can change the mentality of a nation. So is it any wonder the actors get paid so much, that, they are, that there is such a massive budget for these movies and that they are promoted internationally because of course they are indeed powerful. And is it any wonder that the Indian government at the moment, the BJP, have a heavy influence on Bollywood. They're on the censor board and the likes. In England, I had the good fortune of going to Pinewood Studios. And when I went there, I saw pictures of the Prime Ministers and the Queen and the likes going there. Why? If it's just movies? Because it's very, very important. James Bond was filmed there. And James Bond is very integral for the image of the United Kingdom. And we, you guys probably heard of George Orwell, Animal Farm, the book. Very famous and popular book and very famous author. Animal Farm, when it had a cartoon adaptation, the CIA changed the ending because obviously the ending the way it was would have been bad for the United States. So we know the impact movies can make and now we've heard from, let's face it, one of the most powerful nations on the planet. Yeah, even they are saying, yeah, yeah, just send a few Beverly Hills 90210. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a joke. But there are other shows that have, you know, amazing actors in it. Yeah, Daniel Day-Lewis, one of the, you know, one of the most popular method actors, one of the greats of our time. They used him for Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, Abraham Lincoln, they also use Steven Spielberg for that as well. Why so much investment in Abraham Lincoln? Because he is a key figure in the history of the United States. So what do I say about the parents and the people that are watching? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm not saying don't let your kids watch movies. I'm not saying keep them away and keep them mollycoddled and, you know, in, a, in, in your arms. 
No, what I'm saying is when you watch this stuff, equip them so that they can see the propaganda and the manipulation that these movies offer. So when your kids are by themselves with their friends or whatnot, even yourself, you can see these tools at play and at use. For example, Captain America. Is he an accurate, accurate representation of America as we know today? When we know these people are obsessed with dropping bombs everywhere, mate. Yeah, we, I'm not just making up 2016 Guardian article. You know, a bomb was dropped by America on other nations like every, I think it was 12 minutes or so. Yeah, and look at obesity in the United States. Look at the untraveled people in the United States. Why is that not reflected in Captain America? Captain America, six pack, very kind, very polite, you know, holds the team together. So we, know, we should be able to see through these things. Let's leave it there, guys. Hope you guys have benefited. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>